Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is what is the inbreeding coefficient of the individual A, his individual A and we see that individual A mother and father are related, genetically related because this individual here is a father of the father of individual A and grandfather of the mother of the individual A. That means that mother and father of individual A are related. So this is consanguineous mating. So what is the inbreeding of the individual A? First of all, many of you also may think that, uh, for example, this individual here is also common ancestor of the individual A, but actually this individual is a brother of the father of individual A. But this individual doesn't pass its gene from the father side, only through the mother side. So those, this individual is relative of both mother, being a father of the mother of individual A and a brother of the father of individual A. He's uh, not considered to be a common ancestor from the mother side and father side, only this individual. So take a look. Let's say that for certain locals, this individual is heterozygous and has allele A1 and A2. Individual A is going to be homozygous if he is going to get uh, for this locus following genotypes, whether he is going to inherit from the mother side allele A1 and from the father side allele A1. So we say that this individual is going to be homozygous at the locus A for allele A1 and he can inherit it from both mother side and father side. So he's going to be inbred. But he also can get from his grandparent two A2 alleles. So this is second variant and we say he's going to be inbred in this case. Our calculations are going to be as follows. A1 allele can be passed to his son and chances are 50%. It can be A1 or A2 and chances are equal. So one half and then this allele can be passed to mother of individual A1. So again, chances one half because this individual here is going to have A1 allele and another allele he's going to inherit from his mother. And again, 50% chances that his mother is going to also pass this A1 allele to this individual. This individual also can get another A1 allele from his father's side. And this time, this is going to be 50% here chances and 50% here. So uh, our pathway is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let's put one half also here. So probability for this individual to be homozygous for A1 allele is going to be one half times one half times one half times one half and times one half. So this is going to equal to one quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty two. So one thirty two. And the same chances for this person to inherit this genotype A2, A2. One half here, one half here, one half here, one half here, and one half here. So probability for individual A to inherit two A2 two alleles from both mother side and father side is going to be the same as to inherit two A1 alleles. One half times one half times one half times one half times one half is going to be one over 32. And now we just have to add these two probabilities one over 32 plus one over 32. And probability for individual A to be homozygous for allele which can be found in the ancestor 
common ancestor for mother side and father side is going to be 2 over 32 or it's going to be 1 16th and this is going to be our answer answer d 1 16th equal to 0 0.0625 and if we need an answer in percent form, we have to multiply by 100 and we are going to get 6.25% and this number tells us that 6.25% of all loci of individual A are going to be homozygous and are going to be identical by descent from the common ancestor, which is only one person here which is here. Considering that human genome is over 23,000 genes, 6.25% is over 1,000 genes that are going to be identical by descent and if such a gene would have defective allele, which is usually recessive allele, which is not going to manifest itself in heterozygous state, but if person is going to be homozygous, this may manifest itself as some recessive genetic disorder when in homozygous state would lead to certain defect. And this also explains why consanguineous mating, which we usually show with double line, is not good for the health of the progeny of such mating. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.